They're on the corners with two out. And a ground ball base hit in the right field. That will produce the game's first run as Jepson drives in. Garcia from third base and shocking awesome lead at one to nothing. The right-hander looks in for the sign and he delivers. Here's a bouncing ball. That's going to see right field and that's going to produce another run. It's two to nothing. RBI single to right field by Clint Marcos helping his own car. Check swing, excuse me, swing to third. He's up with it. He throws. He got it. Nice job by Greg down at the hot corner. And after one inning of play, shock and awesome too. Colt 45 is nothing. Hit to all fields. But not this time. That's strike three called on a blazing fastball in the inside corner. The Kosek is out of the inning. Three up, three down after an inning. And a half. Runner goes and a ball hit down the left field line. This should score the run. It is a fair ball that goes all the way to the 330 mark. Here comes the runner around third. He will score without a throw. That is Garcia's second run score of the day, and Danny Platt has an RBI double, extending the shock and awesome lead. The first pitch is hit hard into the gap, left center base hit. Here comes Stewart up with the ball. He fires home. The throw is cut off. It's an RBI single for Jesse Garcia. And the cleanup hitter has come through again. The pitch in the air. The shortstop drifting out. A long run, and it's dropping in, and that's an RBI hit. RBI single for Shane Lady. One the the prettiest swing in the world, but he'll take it. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and the inning is over. After three, 5-3, shock and awesome. Strike three called. He strikes out the side. The inning is over. Seven strikeouts for Chris Zakosek, and at the end of three and a half, it's shocking awesome five, the Colt 45 three. His six to end the inning here. And he got it. He just blew it by. And the inning is over. We're heading now to the seventh inning. Five three, shock and awesome on the APM Baseball Network. And now the two strike pitch again is hit. Up the middle, a diving play by the second baseman. His ball is out of time. It the runner right there. He scores. That'll be an RBI hit. And I don't know, that ball looked like it may have deflected off the inning here for the Colt 45s. Here's Sherman. Here comes a throw to the plate. The ball got away from the pitcher. And backing up was a shortstop. He's out at the plate. And the inning is over. And the catcher comes up shaken up. Caught stealing at the plate. On an errant throw going back to the pitcher. And fortunately, the shortstop, Sean Tuber, was backing up. And Ander brings it in the air to right field. Medium depth. The right fielder can't find the ball, and it drops in for a hit. Here comes Tuber to second. The throw is just a bit late. Ground ball could be two. Second one. Bobbled by Garcia, and all hands are safe. He took his eye off the ball because he wanted to turn two, and now the bases are loaded. Smash. It is a fair ball. It's down the left field. One run's going to score. Two runs are going to score. It's a one-run ball game. And the catcher, David Barnes, who's been doing it all morning long, comes through with a clutch two-run double down the line. He stands up there with runners at second and third. The tying run aboard and a smash in the right field, and that's a base hit. One run will score. Here comes a throw to the plate, and it is going to hold the runner up. And they are on the corners, but Mike scores the tying run. It is a 6-6 tie. The Colt fans, they don't hope. They believe. Still out there is Chris Sikosik. First pitch, Raymond Essipor. And a diving play by the center fielder, Brandon Stoke. What a phenomenal catch by number seven. And now the pressure is all on Junior Avila and the hitter Shane Lady. And a run scored in the eighth. The pitch. 
Swung on, and there it goes, a long fly ball to deep right center field, and the ball game is over. Shane Lady with a walk-off home run to right center field, and the Colt 45 have captured the championship. Well, Shock and Awesome put two runs up on the board, and it looked like they were never going to look back, but a three-run bottom of the eighth inning and then a two-run bottom of the ninth inning by the Colt 45s, and they win the 2008 PCBL championship by a final score of 8-6. to six. Chris Sikosik, nine innings. He goes all the way, eight hits, six runs, all of them hurt. He struck out 13. Congratulations to the Colt 45. So for our entire crew, Jeff Lowry from the Epicenter in Rancho, So long, everybody.